Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your week ahead. This is for the first week of April. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is, you know, what it is, what it is. We're going to see what comes up. This is for Virgo for the first week of April. What do we got? We're going to do the Celtic Cross just this one time for this segment and then I'm going right back to my regular spreads. I just decided to, you know, do something different. I don't know why. So, this is what we got for Virgo for the week ahead. Thinking about walking away from something or thinking about going back, huh? Oh, the challenge is starting over. The challenge is starting from the very beginning again, right? It's kind of scary to start at the beginning. Sometimes it's not pretty. Looks as though somebody is thinking about either going back or they're thinking about leaving. Could go either way, okay? And the process, it's like, I, but starting over is scary. It's not easy. It's not easy. Then again, acting with integrity, that's, that's kind of... Uh, Sometimes it's not easy to do that either. Usually, I mean, I know you guys are very grounded, you know, and you're very practical, but sometimes, you know, finances get in the way. So just keep that. We'll get back. We're going we're gonna to go back around after we lay out these cards. So it looks to me as though you guys are evolving. You're not the same person you used to be. You're not. You've not. You've been through a major transition in your life. You um, have changed. I mean, you have. You have. Um, right now, you're probably not taking any action because you realize you've changed and you just don't know. You don't know. I think that you do know, but you don't know, and it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to change. It is, especially when you're an earth sign. You know, um, I feel right now you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision, and you need to stand. you need to stand firm on it. Presently, you could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with anybody, could, whoever you're dealing with. Or if this is you, this is making a firm decision. Okay, this is being decisive. If you, if this is not you, and this is somebody in your life, this is somebody that you are dealing with that wants a decision. You know, they want to know. It's like there's no middle ground here. Okay, it's like making a decision and it's either a yes or a no and blah, 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 blah. Here we have headed in the right direction, making progress. This is, this is to come. So in the, in the future, we do have victory and success, but it comes after a decision is made, you know. Um, I really feel as though you may have to make a difficult decision and communicate it. And it may not be easy to do. You may be a little, um, you know, you know that you got to make a decision, and you may not want to make it. Maybe you got to, maybe you got to cut somebody out of your life. <laughs> We're gonna go back around and get more cards to go with that. Yeah, you need to be direct. You do need to be direct. Um, oh my goodness gracious. if we can get that all in there. So Virgo, it looks to me as though you've evolved. You're not the same person you need, you used to be. You're not. You're not. Not even close to being the same person that you used to be. Now you have to make a decision whether you want to move forward or you want to stay where you're at or whether you want to go back, you know. you got to make some sort of very significant decision here. I think you know what the decision is that you need to make, but you probably know that when you make this decision, you're going to have to cut somebody out of your life or cut something out of your life. I feel as though you need to be, you know, strong here. I think that you have been through a lot. I think that you have some life experience behind your back and that you are headed in the right direction. You may not want to make this decision because you, it may hurt somebody. But I feel as though right now you're not happy where you're at. You're not, you're not in a happy situation right here. This is not getting the wish fulfillment that you deserve. It's not feeling abundant, not feeling happy, okay? So you're really not in a happy place, but, you know, um, you, have to, you have to be direct. You have to take control. You have to take back your power. You are in control. You're the boss of your own life. 
Um, I think right now you're trying, you, you may be biding your time, you may be, you know, growing weary, not knowing where you're going, but I think, like I said, you've gained a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom. You do have a lot of wisdom. Um, you need to stand, you need to protect yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. I feel like you've come a really, 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 really long way. And at this point, you may be trying to protect everybody in your circle when, in fact, you have to do what's right for you. You have to do what's right for you. If you see a very protective energy here, you're really trying to protect. You're trying to do the right thing for everybody involved but yourself. I think your wishes are not being fulfilled because you're trying to fulfill everybody else's. And therefore, I feel like you're not putting in effort to, you know, <laughs> take care of you. And that's a message that somebody needs to hear. But anyway, we're going to go back around. The challenge is starting over. The challenge is acting with integrity and doing what's right for you. And you may think that acting with integrity is taking care of everybody else. But I have to tell you, and they say if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, it's the same with papa, okay? If you ain't happy, then nobody else is happy. And that's just the way, that's the truth. So I feel like this is a week of you not really taking action. You're maybe thinking about taking action, but starting over is kind of scary. I think that you know that you have to make some sort of decision to bring victory and success to your life. Um, you could be dealing with a husband or a man in your life that is wanting you wanting a direct answer. You you may be dealing with it. Could be a husband, could be a father, or somebody that is influencing you. In some way, we have somebody here that may be influencing you and telling you, you know, what I want, you know, they may be helping you in some way. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius here. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. We're going to go back around. We're not going to clarify this card because the challenge is starting over, even though it's not pretty. It's starting from the very beginning again, you know. It's finding the moral backbone to you know, be practical here. But anyway, this is lack of strength, lack of courage, lack of courage perhaps to walk away from something or something like that. This is this is where you're at. This is lack of strength, lack of lack of courage, unable to let go of something. So you may not you may be unable to let go of something that once was stable. Maybe you feel like it's financially stable and that's all it is. I don't know. There's no passion where you're at right now. You have changed. You have changed. Um, oh, my God. This is unbelievable. So, you know, <laughs> there's no passion left. There's no more growth where you've been. You know it, and I know it. You're not that same person, and that's the way it is. There's no more growth there, and I feel like... I feel like now your challenge is starting over. You need to find the courage to do so. This right here is letting yourself be controlled by outside circumstances, by somebody else. This right here is presently you are very conflicted about walking away from a situation in which you feel like you are being controlled by. You know, you're not... Uh, you gotta... You gotta You're, you're hanging on to a situation that you are not passionate about. You're letting it control you. You need to take action. You need to walk away from a lose-lose situation. And you know what it is. You may have to make some compromises. You may have to work a little bit harder. You're going to have to be decisive. Happiness is waiting for you. There's an opportunity for happiness when you make the decision that you need to make. You will be able to work together with whoever it is that you are worried about. It's like you may feel like, oh God, we won't be able to work together. or We won't be able to do this or whatever. Yes, you will be able to. This is healing. You will heal from this situation and whoever you're dealing with will heal. You need to break free. You need to break free from a bond that you are not meant to be bound to anymore. And you know what it is and so don't I. 
somebody is tied to something that they need to break free from. They need to take that sword and they need to cut that chain because there's no more growth there. You need to take back control of your life. Communicate. Work together and follow your own happiness at this time. This is like you have the ability to cut the cord, break free, and go through a rebirth. You have the ability to, you know, start over. This is extreme happiness once you break free, once you take back control. Once you make that decision to break free, happiness, you, it'd be like instant relief. I'm not kidding. But you got to be strong and you got to follow your heart. Follow your heart. If you have somebody new that has come to the rescue, that has entered your life, choose them. Choose them. Right now, you're not, you're in a one-sided relationship where, you know, you're not getting what you deserve. It's better off to be on, on your own than to be in a situation that is one-sided. That's lack of integrity. You need to hold your head up high and do what's best. For you. You know, this is somebody who is very self-sufficient, has the skills, has the knowledge, has the ability to take care of themselves quite well. Somebody sees your worth. Somebody wants to help you. Somebody wants to come into your life, but you need to choose them. Don't let loneliness keep you stuck. You have an opportunity for extreme happiness here, abundance, a lot of abundance. What's coming for you is abundance, stability, security. If you are single, somebody is coming into your life that is very stable. This is a warrior. If you are single, you have a warrior coming into your life. You need to let them help you. Let them in. If you are coupled, <laughs> I feel as though, you know... <laughs> You may be hanging on to a situation just because it's financially stable, but there's no fi there's no reciprocation in the love arena, and you have another love offer and that you would be more passionate about, but you can't leave because of the stability. Either way, we have somebody here. I think we have somebody here that wants to love you and you may not be reciprocating for who knows what reason. There's an opportunity to build, I think, with somebody new. Oh, could be somebody you've known from your past. It could be. It could be. Somebody that you knew a long time ago, Virgo. Could be a past life connection. It's a soulmate connection, it is. I feel as though right now you need to go within and you need to come up with a plan. What do you want? What does what are your wishes? What are your dreams? Why are you lacking? Really, 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 you need to go within, you need to refocus, and you need to, you know, come out of your shell. Get grounded. Be realistic. You have a lot to offer. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. I feel one of the things is, is that you're so loyal. You're so, so loyal. I see a lot of loyalty here. You're so loyal. And I am afraid, I think that you're afraid to, you know... Maybe you're afraid that if you, if you follow your heart that you, you will be rejected by somebody else or that you'll grow old alone. That's not the case. You're afraid. Somebody's afraid to start over. They're afraid to take a risk. Well, I'm here to tell you that your wish fulfillment is waiting for you. They're waiting for you to 
be practical. They're waiting for you to follow your intuition. They're waiting for you to see the light. They're waiting for you to wake up. Take that leap of faith. Look at this. Somebody doesn't know their worth and they're losing out on a soulmate connection and that sucks. That sucks. There's a soulmate connection here that is, is like being lost because somebody is determined to hold on to something based out of loyalty, based out of taking care of everybody but themselves when they need to be taking care of themselves. There's a soulmate connection waiting for you to grab it. Grab it. You are worth it. You are worth it. You may not want to deal with the pain of, of letting other people go, but I'm telling you right now, at the end of this pain is a soulmate, a soulmate, a blessing. This is let go of a relationship that's not working. I don't know. It could be a work relationship. could be a relationship that you're in. You know, maybe, maybe uh, you're too worried about what everybody else is going to think. Maybe you're focused on everything but your own happiness when you deserve to focus on your happiness, Virgo. I think there's one relationship that needs to be come to an end that you are hanging on to. You're not in love with it. There's no more passion there, whatever it is, whether it's work or love. And you have to be strong and go after your dreams. We have a blessing waiting for you. And it's like you're not putting in effort to follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. You have a blessing here. We absolutely do. I think that we have a reconnection with somebody from your past that you have known before in which... You know, it could lead to extreme happiness and extreme wish fulfillment if you would give it a chance and you would stop holding on to whatever it is that you're not passionate for. So what do I see? An opportunity for wish fulfillment in which you don't have to put in all the work. This is a, this is a blessing. It absolutely is. So what, 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 what advice do we have for Virgo? Follow your dreams. Follow your, follow your dreams. This is a wish. This is a wish come true. It's a dream come true. It is a dream come true. I think that you will probably be receiving a message from somebody, you know, maybe it's somebody even from your past that wants you to go back with them and you have to make a choice. Have you moved on? For some of you, that is the case. Maybe it's a choice to, you know, do you move on so that you can go after this, this soulmate that you know who it is? There's a soulmate here. There is definitely a soulmate, but there's a hindrance. There's a blockage. There is a blockage. And I feel like, you know, it's time to, for the truth to come out. It's time to be honest. You are being robbed of a soulmate connection for who knows what reason. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. You're, there's a message that is going to come. Somebody, something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. And it may make you feel vulnerable. Uh, yeah. Somebody may want a reconciliation and you can't do it. You have to make a decision. <laughs> I do believe a truth that there's, that there's some sort of secret that is about to be revealed that change it, that may change the, your direction. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a choice, probably between two paths. Are you ready? Are you ready for happiness or do you want to stay connected to some demon of the past? You have a new soulmate connection here in which you need to make a choice. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? You're going to be conflicted. Absolutely. Absolutely. You are. You're going to receive a message that brings conflict. Somebody may want to come back. I'm just saying. Somebody may want to come back. And you may just be like, you know what? Sorry. Sorry. I'm not that same person anymore. Yep. Yep. This is this is take all the time you need to make it this decision. Okay? Huh. 
I think somebody that didn't put in effort before is going to come back. And I think they're going to come back because they've been watching you. For some of you. Either way, you have, a, you have love. You do have love here. I think you have to make a choice between two paths. Do you want to go back to the one who hurt you? Do you want to stay with the one that you don't have passion for? Or do you want your soulmate? Because we, that is what the choice is. You are going to receive an offer of love from somebody. And you're going to have to decide. They're going to want an answer like they want an answer. So be prepared to give somebody an answer. What do we got for Virgo? Blame. Oh, yay. I accept responsibility for my well-being. That's a good card. You can't, don't, you know, your, just, your decision is yours. You can't blame anything on anybody else. Be careful with the decision that you are about to make because it could affect your health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So when you are making this decision, how did this affect your health in the past? I really feel as though, Virgo, you are going to be faced with making a decision to either truly end a karmic bond and go after your dreams and go after your happiness or stay stuck there. So I do, I do see that you ha you're going to receive an offer of love from somebody or some sort of love message or something. You're going to receive a message that says, hey, is it a yes or is it a no? Can we fix this? I don't know. For some of you, somebody's going to want to rekindle the flame and you may be like, I'm not there. I'm not. You may. You may. You may. You may see this as a dream come true. This is what you've been waiting for. Some of you. Either way. Be prepared for a message that brings you conflict and forces you to make a choice. That's what I got, Virgo. Good luck. 